In this video, I'm going to explain how to use SDV's HMA synthesizer, which is used for generating synthetic data. I previously made a video on CTGAN and I explained how you can use CTGAN to generate a fake data or synth synthetic data. However, CTGAN is used for problems that you only have a single table, but HMA is good for generating synthetic data when you have uh, multiple tables. So it is also explained here that uh, this synthesizer is designed to capture correlations between different tables with high quality. The algorithm is optimized for data sets with around five tables and one level of depth. Okay, so let's move on to the notebook that I prepared here. So I am using um, Faker to generate two tables that are related, the customers table and uh, the orders table. And I'm also going to install SDV and the table evaluator. And I'm going to use uh, Pandas for processing the data sets. So it'll take a while to install all of these. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going to create 10 customers with customer ID, name, email, address, city, and state. And you can add other fields if you are interested. Uh, but I think for, for the purpose of this tutorial, this will suffice. And I'm also going to create another table called orders, which includes order ID, customer ID, order date, and total amount. So here the customer ID is the foreign key that we're going to use and it is going to be from the customer IDs that we generated up here. Okay, now that our data is generated, let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, we have the orders, which includes the order ID, customer ID, date, and the total amount. And we also have the customers with their names, fake email address, city, state. And um, now we need to import STV packages, the STV metadata and multi-table metadata and also the HMA synthesizer. We're also going to download a file, a JSON file. So in order to generate synthetic data, based on multiple tables, you have to introduce the relationship between those tables and also the structure of those tables so that the STV can, you know, understand it. So as you can see here, I downloaded the JSON file. And if I open it here, as you can see, the tables include customers with these columns. You have to also uh, define the type of each of them. Uh, the city address, email, these are all types that are known to STV. But if you have another, you know, column that it is not known to STV, you can just uh, call it categorical. And if it's like a number, you can just call it numerical. And you also have to define the primary key. And uh, for orders, you also have to do the same. And as you can see here, I defined the numerical for total amount. And then you have to define the relationships. So the parent table is customers, the child table is orders. And then we have the parent primary key, which is customer ID, and the child foreign key, which is again, customer ID. This is not important, but it's uh, just mentioning that this is a metadata spec version and it is multi-table version one. So we have to import this file. So SDV understands the structure of, of our tables. And the rest of it is pretty easy. You have to uh, introduce the synthesizer and then you just fit these two tables and then it, it will generate the data for you. Okay, now our data is generated and we can see it here. This is similar to what we have up here. However, this time we're using the STV internal functions 
to generate the address and the city and the state and also name and the email. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty similar. And uh, we also have our orders table with the total amount, order date, and the customer ID. And then using table evaluator, you can check the results. And here, the, the only thing that we can compare is the, um, the total amount. Well, these other ones like the customer ID and order date and these things, as you can see, they're kind of similar. But here, this is like the main one. Well, on this one, it's not very good. It's not perfect, uh, but still, it's something, you know. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you. And see you in the next one.